and coming to the next module cash and bank management as a company of course uh, we have some cash transactions and bank transactions will be there company will maintain the current accounts suppose in india uh, definitely the companies will maintain the current accounts i don't know in abroad uh, what kind of accounts uh, they will maintain okay but in india um, um, normally general people will maintain the saving account and the companies will maintain the current accounts okay all the current accounts information uh, we will maintain here i mean uh, transactions like uh, deposits and uh, any check check payments and uh, dd payments okay uh, like um, uh, transaction statements salary salary related statements everything we will maintain here bank statements and all okay and uh, so in this module completely only cash related and the bank related transactions will be there and coming to the cost accounting cost in the cost accounting uh, just a second in the cost accounting module suppose uh, we are manufacturing an item okay so how we will decide the cost based on some parameters right based on some parameters we will decide the cost so we will use some formulas based on some formulas we will decide the cost and the cost in the sense so the exact uh, exact expenditure of ex exact expenditure to make an item that is called cost price is different in price it will in include profit but cost doesn't include profit see i have a laptop to make a laptop um, like 20 dollars my expenditure is 20 dollars so that is called cost i will add 5 dollars to the cost and i will make it as a price so all these things will be maintained in this module to measure a particular item manufacturing related cost in this module we will maintain see here there is a uh, currencies exchange rate types and here you can see a formula formula related dimensions parameters and everything okay and uh, the next thing expense management okay i'm not going to explain all the modules uh, only there are only few important models i'm explaining here so coming to the expense management in a company day-to-day uh, -day expenses will be there all the day-to-day -day expenses uh, salary advances petrol elements traveling accommodation elements everything will be maintained in this module anything anything uh, related to employees uh, daily expenses company related daily expenses all the details will be maintained in this module coming to the fixed assets every company having their own fixed assets like buildings furniture machinery uh, vehicles land and shares all this we can call it as a fixed assets okay all the fixed assets information we will maintain here suppose if i purchased an a machinery so that we will maintain here suppose if I, if the machinery got outdated then we will make it in uh, we will throw it in scrap right so those things also we will maintain here all the things whatever whatever the company is purchasing uh, for the company all the things will be maintained in this particular fixed assets module coming to the fleet management fleet management somewhat a different module and uh, this is completely related to vehicles as a company um, i mean normally if you if you observe something like uh, 
cab services cab services people can also uh, use this module fleet in the sense that is that is only fleeting attracts vehicles suvs and uh, cars okay like uh, vehicle maintenance information and uh, currently available vehicles rented vehicles okay all these things related to somewhat uh, vehicles only okay general nature it's very important module related to financial transactions related to financial transactions like uh, income and expenditure of a company ledger in the sense like debit and credit all the things will be maintained here see here here we have a trial balance okay vouchers encumbrancement transactions uh, and uh, journals something like a very tough module even this is and coming to the next module human resource management hr management in this module a company employees information we will maintain here all the employees information like uh, contractors workers and uh, uh, permanent workers everything every every employee information not only employee information like uh, all their uh, uh, related information like uh, projects and uh, time and attendance and uh, courses um absence related information departments and and their positions leaves and the loans etc etc everything will be maintained here in this module uh, hr management next thing inventory management in this inventory management we can see uh, inventory in the sense items right items suppose uh, we have a manufacturing company in that manufacturing company we need to track all the items every day so that uh, all the details will be all the details will be entered in this module to track all the uh, items related information like see here there is a, a shipments transfer orders arrival picking okay like output orders uh, movement item arrival uh, item tracing labels everything see here shipment receive transfer order history everything will be there here related to complete uh, a product the product information we will maintain here and uh, the one more important module called organization administration till now we have discussed about the business am i right i mean um, how to what are um, where exactly the customers information will be maintained and where exactly the vendor information will be maintained all these things we have discussed like business related money related and uh, items related assets related everything we discussed but in this module organizational self information will be there organization core data organization structure will be maintained in this module this is not related to business so organization standards rules and regulations and uh, organization uh, related uh, um, uh, configurations okay and the setups everything will be maintained in this particular organization administration i mean company self information in this module uh, no business involvement completely no customers no vendors no items no assets okay only company information will be there and uh, there is a payroll of course we are all know about payroll payroll in the sense based on uh, employee work and attendance we will calculate the salary to calculate the salary the hr management i mean hr people will uh, 
make some uh, analysis like uh, uh, they will see all the uh, all the aspects like uh, directions and elevances everything they will calculate and they will decide i mean they will calculate the salary finally so in this module you can see all the uh, payroll i mean payroll related activities like uh, see uh, pay statements earning statements benefits and uh, reports taxes okay uh, everything will be there here coming to the uh, next important module like uh, okay sales and marketing this module we can also called as a crm customer relationship management in this module we will maintain a best uh, relation with the customer though that kind of information we will maintain here so why we need customer information especially why we have to maintain customer is very important to any business definitely we have to maintain customer information because suppose we are launching a new product i mean we uh, so we need to intimate to the customer right so once a product has uh, uh, launch and uh, and we are we just broadcasting our product so that we need to maintain a best relation with the customer so this module will help you to maintain a relation with the customers in this module you can see there is a contacts my contacts prospects leads and opportunities and uh, quotations something like uh, a transaction between the uh, i mean conversation conversation between the customer and the company all the things will be tracked here okay 